Coming down to get, was this a two to go signal? No, one to go signal. All right, we're gonna go racing in one more lap. So Kozlowski and Harvick on the front row, Deegan and Newman second, Boyer and Schrader in the third row, then Stewart, do they put Kanan back in his spot in the lineup, trying to see out the window here? He, no, he's at the back of the field. It looks like there was a little confusion on, on the lineup. I think they got it figured out now, but yes, they put Kanan to the back. All right. We'll see if TK can make some progress forward here uh, in this heat race number two. So here they come, turn number four. Just love, we're so close to the people from our view here at Stafford. They're on their feet, they're cheering, they're hollering. What a great energy it is tonight as the green flag waves and we're underway again. A big launch from the outside lane of Kevin Harvick, but Brad Keselowski's gonna stick his nose in there and say, no, not so fast. Kevin getting a good launch off the corner there, though, gonna get down in front of Brad. That was a run. Here's Haley Deegan inside of Ryan Newman. Now they'll go three wide. Boyer jumping to the bottom. <laughs> Deegan says, yeah, I know how that's gonna work. <laughs> yeah, the meat and the sandwich, not where you wanna be. Haley Deegan in the red car. So she's stuck there on the outside there, really opening up the middle lane. And you see Whoa. how she's, she's gonna keep getting used <laughs> up. She opens up that middle lane. Everyone's aggressive right now. They know how important these spots are. And she's tank slapping it down the straightaway. That was Marco Andretti who just dove in there to keep that hole open. You know, something interesting I see here too, there's Denny Hamlin back there in, in the back. He hasn't really made any progress yet. I think he might just say, let's let a few of these knock themselves around and then I'll go. He's trying to save his car. Got a uh, little right front smoke on the Marco Andretti machine. Maybe knock the fender in on that tire. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. And He's it's, in the wall uh, there. It's going to be a problem. Let's see if that right front is going down on the one car. You definitely have a hole in the nose, which is, is not good. And, and Looks like it's off pace there. A replay off a of turn two. Ooh. It's a little high. I don't know if he got help there or not. Kind of hard to say. I think from what we've seen so far tonight. Yeah, he probably got some help. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. All right, up front. Kevin Harvick trying to hang on. But Brad Keselowski starting to put a little heat. And Ryan Newman closing in from third. You know, and, and Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski, those are two guys that have not raced these cars yet. This is their first time, and their first time, I think, at Stafford as well. So they're really learning a lot at the same time. you got Ryan Newman, who is the experienced one uh, in these cars and at this racetrack right behind him. Brad Keselowski, Rochester Hills, Michigan, driving that Campy World sponsored machine here. He's going to try and turn it down underneath Harvick. Nothing doing. I talked to Brad earlier. I said, why are you doing this? You're a full-time cup driver. You're a team owner. Try, why, why are you doing this? As he goes for the lead. Hard to get that drive. He said three reasons. I don't get to race as much as I used to. I love the whole Thursday night Thunder ESP angle as he goes through to the top spot and he said I need some more trophies too yeah <laughs> I get it and he's in position to do it right now making up for that the bad heat race he had the first time now he's in the lead of the second one and look at Kevin Harvick getting freight trained on the outside you saw me he almost tried to check up when Brad got underneath him to get in line in front of Ryan Newman, was not able to do that. Now he's stuck on the outside lane. So Newman is second. That's Clint Boyer working underneath Kevin Harvick as they race side by side for th third. And Clint's known to be a great short track racer as well. He's, you know, you look at a lot of his, his career best finishes in the Cup Series, a lot of them on the short tracks. Definitely come from that type of background, and you see it here tonight. Boyer, the uh, Fox Sports television analyst for their NASCAR coverage, and of course, 10-time uh, NASCAR Cup Series winner. What we got here? Denny Hamlin, Paul Tracy side by side. And the caution flag comes out. 
after it at halfway in the heat race here. Restack them and let them go again. As soon as they get a little breathing room, able to catch their breath after a crazy start like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's do it again. All right, what are we looking at here? Looking at Hamlin and Tracy. You see Denny, Ooh. he was, <laughs> he's in there. He couldn't get any lower, he's down in the grass. Tracy just squeezes him down here. You can hear the rocks in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, the not quite pass in the grass. And we're under caution, halfway through heat race number two tonight, the Camping World SRX Series. In the heart of the Midwest, Purdue University is building the future of cybersecurity, advanced manufacturing, microelectronics, AI, biomedical engineering, analytics, sports technology, motorsports engineering, and pharmaceutical discovery. From Purdue, home to more undergraduate STEM students than any other major research university in America, comes Purdue University in Indianapolis. All forward with the next giant leap. Purdue University in Indianapolis. At Camping World, we make seeing America fun and affordable. Take home this new Coleman Lantern or Rubicon for as little as $5 a day. 5, 10, 15, or this new travel trailer for less than $10 a day. $15 gets you a new fifth wheel. And for only $20 a day, you could drive off in a brand new motorhome. 5, 10, 15, we make RVing fun, simple, and affordable. See America for less at Camping World. 5, 10, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela stands tall in our unwavering commitment to honoring our heroes. We extend our gratitude beyond words by proudly offering a legendary salute discount to those who protect our freedoms. Our dedication to those who selflessly serve us runs deep within our DNA. It's not just a discount, it's a commitment to making a difference. Because every day is a chance for us to say thank you. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Thursday Night Thunder on ESPN. Tonight, the Camping World SRX Series from Stafford Speedway in Stafford Springs, Connecticut. Sold out crowd and 12 superstar drivers in their identically prepared machines knocking around halfway through heat race number two. You said it, knocking around. <laughs> that is exactly what they're doing. <laughs> they are using the doors, the bumpers, I think everything. And, and I. I like to say they're having fun, but I think they're getting frustrated with each other. <laughs> you're to see that. You talked about you put the helmet on, the competitor side in you comes out. All these guys are champions. They have that fire inside of them. Yeah, sure. And when enough. you put them in a competitive environment, I don't care what it is. We could be racing cars, they can be playing checkers. It's going to get intense. All right, coming to the green. Pace truck is in, and it'll be Brad Keselowski and Ryan Newman side by side on the front row as they come to the restart line in turn four. Here we go for a 10 lap shootout. Ryan Newman, big start on the outside there. Able to get the launch on Brad Keselowski in the blue car in the bottom. And Newman will power his way to the front. Now Harvick stuck to the outside, trying to keep with Keselowski. He'll slip up. Boyer will go by, and here comes Tony Stewart down the bottom. And Ken Schrader right with him. That's Schrader in that blue and orange federated car. Whoop, clunk. <laughs> Who's that he got there? I, I don't know. It might, it was oh, look at Paul Tracy really send it down in oh, the corner. Spin on Kenny Schrader. Schrader. Goes halfway around. Staying green so far, now, now the caution's out. Yellow flag number two in our second heat race. Let's we'll see what happened there. Paul, Paul Tracy got in there pretty hard, but I kind of got the back half of that one. Uh -huh. Well, Kenny was running in sixth position. And uh, now he'll be 12th. All right, there's uh, Schrader with the orange. Hood on the blue car, and ooh, what was that that just flew up? Uh, that was the hood of uh, the black car behind him. Was there. that Canon's car? I believe it was. Yeah. The, the tape did not stick. And uh, Schrader got spun out there. 
You know, and, and <laughs> I think that's, a, I mean, it was an aggressive move down on the inside like that. And, and I, when you watch an Indy car race, that's how they pass each other. If you watch a NASCAR race, that's not very normal. Wow, look at that. There goes the hood. Oh, it's good, put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Save on the parts budget, right? Remember I was talking about how important that downforce was off that hood being sealed up? Yeah. And he don't have that no more. Nope. And it's gone. Oh boy. Well, Tony Kanon with uh, some, some more work to do. Uh, by the crew in the break between the second heat and the main event. Here's some Denny Hamlin fans. I hate that for Kenny Schrader. He's like one of the coolest people you've ever met. This guy has been racing forever, racing locally, racing. I mean, obviously he had an amazing career in Cup, but he's yep. racing dirty. Racing. This guy's never stopped racing, and he has such a fun time. Him and Kenny Wallace yep. just go at it racing and racing, and it's so cool to see Kenny Schrader out here tonight. Hey, Matt. He always races about 100 times a year, and Schrader's already told me he's one up in Alaska. He's one up in Canada. He's going to go back to Canada. He says, you know what? SRX is going to be great, but it kind of you know, messes up my two or three or four nights a week racing, but really honored to be a part of this crowd here tonight. He's going to go to Waterford Speed Bowl Saturday night for the Boston Louis Classic. So a lot of fun ahead for Schrader. Oh, that one's at Seacock Speedway, Matt. Seacock, Massachusetts. Because I know somebody else that'll be there too. <laughs> track where I grew up and uh, going to go over there with Kenny and the rest of the crowd on Saturday night. Kenny has won in uh, raced in every state except two. One is Hawaii. Well, one is one Rhode Island. Guess. Rhode Island. Rhode Island doesn't have a racetrack. Mm. But Seacock is just across the Massachusetts line. They consider that their own. Pretty much everywhere he can. Yeah, that's right. All right. So Schrader at the back as we get ready to go. And you see the clock ticking down on our second heat race. Green flag is out. Because to the outside of Newman. You see Brad with a good jump on that outside lane this time. They're going to race door to door on the back straightaway. Looks like Brad got a little tight on the exit there. Wasn't able to make it happen. He's going to try to sneak down in front of Boyer. These guys all the way down on the apron there in three. They're definitely using the flat. These cars, they look really tight. They're trying to use that apron. Oh, oh Boyer! Boyer. <laughs> Boyer low, Keslowski high for second place. This pass is not going to be easy for Clint Boyer. Especially if he made Brad mad. Well, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> As they're coming to the white flag, too. They're One gonna, lap. Uh, this is probably going to be contact off of this corner.